I like doing pottery because of the repetition and I've, since I was little I, I liked being in the mud so what, what else would be closer than actually being in mud is pottery. Um, it's meditative. It's so nice. It's so nice to not think of anything. I have done quite a bit of long distance hiking. Um, I did the Appalachian Trail in 2013. That's from Maine to Georgia. And then the Pacific Crest Trail um, this past season. I think when you're out in nature, you often feel inspired if you're creative. You have the urge to create things because you're in beautiful things all day. When I'm hiking, I miss doing pottery. And when I'm doing pottery, I miss hiking. But I often make lots of time for hiking when I'm doing pottery. And obviously, when I'm doing a long distance hike, I can't do pottery. It's not, unfortunately, my favorite thing to do besides hiking is not mobile in any manner, so. I think I processed over 600 pieces of finished pottery in less than a month when I got off the PCT because I missed it so much. I lots of times absolutely think of nothing when I'm doing pottery. I like to make things that are very functional, maybe kind of unusual. Um, the design and shape might be influenced by nature, um, but the functionality is always first for me. When people purchase my pottery, I like for them to use it. I mean, if you think about how many times I touch this, this pottery um, and then how much, if you use it daily, you're touching it. It's just kind of like a passing of, it's part of me, yeah, it is. And so someone's using something that I've made and kind of put some love and insight to every day. It's a huge compliment, even if it's not like directly to you.